Hi, I'm going to show you quick ways to replace column names in Python using Pandas. So let's get started. Let's load in our data frame uh, in our dependencies. So we're going to load in the Pandas library and we're going to load in our uh, CSV that's going to be acting as our data frame. So let's go ahead. So let's import. So import Pandas and save it as a variable PD. And let's also bring in our CSV and save it as the variable data frame. So PD.read underscore CSV. And we're going to use our avocado data set. I'll leave this in the description below if you want to practice. And while we're at it, let's also look at the head of our data frame. So if we run that, now we can see all our columns in a list. I don't want this one, so I'm going to go ahead and drop it using the drop method in Pandas on our data frame. What do we want to drop? We want to drop that column and we can just copy it from here so we make sure we get it exactly paste and then I want this to be in place which means it's going to save on the underlying data frame and then we also need to specify the axis and I want to drop the column which is one and let's run that and let's take a look at our data frame using the head function and we see that column is gone now what we want to do is we want to replace some of the columns so there's a couple methods that we can do to replace call or replace or rename column names one method is to use so the next thing we want to do is replace the columns that we want to change, which is, in this case, I want to change 4046, 4225, and 4770 to a different value. So we're going to use the rename method on our data frame. So first, data frame, rename. And then we're going to use the columns parameter equals, and we're going to pass it a dictionary, curly brackets. And what we're going to use is key and value pairs. For example, 40, 46, and then we're going to change that to, let's say, special. I'm going to run that and show you how the first one will change now usually want to keep this using the in place is true but let me add all of them first so I'm gonna I've already written this in and to save time I'm just going to copy and paste so I'm changing 4046 to special 1 4225 to special 2 and 4470 to special 3 and it looks like we have one too many curly brackets there from copying and pasting it. That looks good. I'm going to also hit in place equals true. So it will write to the underlying data frame. Let's hit we'll save that and let's look at the head of the data frame. So now we see we have special one, special two, and special three. Now that's another method that's a little bit more labor intensive to change the column heads or change the column names is to pass a list to the columns method. So we know we have a list here. So let's get our new list of column names by just using df and the columns method. 
So we can see all our columns there. This is a list that is contained in the brackets. You can copy that. And we copy and paste. So we call DF columns. And then we can copy and paste our list. And then we can change this. any of these to whatever we want. So I'm just going to change those two. Now let's look at the head and we can see the updated changes. Oops. Let's make sure we use a function instead of a method. So you can see this it has been changed. So we can change each one of these to anything we like and check the head. So if I lowercase those two and lowercase this and of course there's an, we can use some string methods to lowercase but if I run that and run it we can see the updated names here. So that's two easy ways to change your column names. I hope that helps.